Labrys was um, a really fun kind of labor of love. Probably the biggest limitation was budget, but this was a film that really deserved something that was more grandiose, kind of a orchestral fantastic kind of a thing. Um, one of the most exciting things that unlocked the score for me was the use of the gamelan, uh, which is a Balinese orchestra. Uh, it's made up of a lot of um, malleted instruments and gongs and things like that. A lot of fantasy, um, we sort of know the sound already, and a lot of times you have this the, um, the glockenspiel, which is uh, basically just a small xylophone, and that usually plays a kind of a key sound that we instantly associate. So I wanted something like that, but I... Avarice is, uh, kind of takes things and twists them a little, and so I wanted to, I wanted the score to indicate that. They're played in pairs, so you'll have the same instrument, and it's played by two different people. Two, two of the identical instruments, except one is slightly detuned from the first. So they will play the same things together, but you end up with this kind of slightly eerie, but really beautiful overtones. Because of budget, we weren't able to have a lot of live players. Uh, but one of the ways that you can get away with keeping something still sounding fairly realistic um, is to bring in a string player or a vocalist or something um, to go in on top of what you've already recorded. We were able to do that in a few spots um, uh, with some violin work and particularly really key where the vocals um, had uh, someone local Julie Height come in and sing uh, and we would multi-track her voice so that she ended up sounding more like a choir than just her and layered that on top of boys choirs and other interesting things. Film scores are headed in a myriad of different directions. Uh, there are a lot of new things in the, in the realm of technology that have made things very uh, possible that didn't used to be. I think a globalization is something we're going to see. And I would imagine that that globalization will work out um, sonically as well. We'll probably start to hear a lot of really cool integration of world elements that, um, that we maybe haven't heard as much. And that's one of the reasons I love film scores anyway, is there, there aren't any really rules. <laughs>